So welcome back to the Polytunnel and we're going to talk about the tractor because now that we have officially sold our small holding we do not need a tractor anymore because we're moving from France back to Scotland so we thought it would be interesting to do a little video about what to look for if you were selling a track if you were buying a tractor so john's going to talk us through this john what is the most important things that you look for when you're going to view a tractor source the tractor for your needs obviously we need a big tractor we've got five acres of ground right we need a front bucket on it it was very important for us to fetch wood and stuff from the the forest, um, source, source your tractor, whether it's a Ford, a John Deere, doesn't matter what it is, have a walk round it, make sure it's got four wheels, the tyres are blown up, this one's got two new front tyres on it, the back ones could be doing with getting replaced, but there's nothing to matter them for running about the farm, I mean, you would look at replacing them at some point, check all the rams obviously and the hoses, Check all your hoses, check all your rams and ram seals that they're not leaking. Make sure the tractor starts, obviously. Check the oil and the water. Have a look at the engine, make sure there's no leaks underneath. Take it for a test drive. You must be able to take it somewhere, just out. Make sure everything works on it. All the hydraulic lifts, all the back actors all work. Make sure it goes into all the gears. The brakes work. It does what it says on the tin. You press the pedal when you get brakes. Not, uh, let's just cruise down the hill and we don't have any brakes. Uh, check if it's, in France, check if it's registered to the person that's selling it. So what you mean by that is make sure, make sure you get a cart grease, a cart it, grease can. which is the equivalent to a uh, British V5. It's immigration in France. Uh, make sure you get one of them. Or at least it's got a registration plate on it. At least you've got a number to go to track back on it. It may be someone's died. And it, it, nobody can find the cart grease, but if you've got a number, it's a starting point. But have a good walk round it, make sure everything goes into where it's going, check there's no leaks and drips, oil, water, and that's you. Check for smoke coming out of the. That it's not a smoky tractor, you know, and it's nice and quiet and goes in all the rev ranges. I mean, mine's is just off the key and it should start right off the key. Hopefully, this one says. <laughs> Sounds very sweet. So, it's really just to make sure you get what they're wanting. And now, we keep this tractor inside the polytunnel basically so that it's clean and dry, but we haven't used it for a couple of months and we had a bit of an issue. And you had a wee look to see why it wouldn't start this morning because it always starts first time. And we've had a bit of a wasp issue. That's in your air filter. That was in the air filter. But oh. it's working perfectly well now. So show everyone your can of uh, wasp killer. No, oh, it's in the shed. Please. In the shed. I've been chasing wasps out yet. So it is ready to go. Sad to see it go. It's done really, really well. And we have... A viewer coming this morning and when I put this up for sale on Facebook Marketplace I have to say guys these things are in demand people are looking for tractors with front lifts and buckets and we had 10 people interested so even if the person coming to see it this morning doesn't want it we have a backup plan so that is how you should be viewing any tractor that you go to see and good luck and thank you very much John Deere, you've been a star.